you are welcome to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified of our new released content thank you My dear, the work is so hectic, so hectic, my boss was just dragging us about. In fact, I don't seem to understand him again. It's <sighs> okay. I just know that it's going to be well. It will be good. My head pulse is water. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. present state is incapable to cater for multitude. Ha!
What is wrong with you? You mean you cannot conduct yourself in an interview? Sir, please. That is none of your business. Mine is to get a job here. It's not for you to be saying all this rubbish you are saying. Me? Say rubbish? Yes. Sandra, what do you call your name? You lack respect. Moral, zero. Character, negative. Is that how you talk to your parents at home? Hey, please. You don't bring my parents to this, okay? Mine is to have a job here. And if you don't have none, I will walk out of this place before saying all this rubbish. In short, Mr. Man, a sane man don't talk the way you talk. Enough of this insult! Get out of this office! Now! Please, don't shout on me like that, okay? Get out! Idiot! Point of correction, Mr. Pan. I'm not an idiot. And for you to know, not everyone will be me at you. Excuse me. Hey, lady! I told you to enter. Sir, I was thinking that... You were thinking what? You were not given the permission to enter, and you didn't enter. What's wrong with you? Why is it that almost all of you young girls are like this? Sir? Will you shut up? No manners, no character, no nothing. Sir, what have I done? Just hear yourself. You enter where you hope not to, and you are asking what have you done, right? I don't think there's job for people like you here. No! Sir? Sir, money. Now get out! We don't have job for people like you and those rascals also. Get out! But, but sir? Go out now! Miss Leave me a day before I lose my temper! Leave!
Who is your mom? I'm just kidding. Can I have my seat? Sit down. How was your day? Great. Fine. Sister Nifemi, I wanted to see you all this while. But sometimes some responsibility takes my time. I hope you are getting me. For some time ago, I'll be relying and trusting God for a wonderful distant partner he will bring unto me. God was so faithful to have given me answer to my prayer. He will bring unto me that you will be my wife. Sister Nifemi, I really do love you. And I'm here to ask if you will marry me. No. Ah. Brother, our prayer coordinator, I am highly disappointed with you. Sister Nia. Don't sister me! Now get out of this room! Now! Sister Nia. Get out of this room! Sister Nia. Get out of this room! Get out of this room! She got a problem from Charles. I was surprised, terrified, grief, unbalanced, frightened, and disturbed with her word and action. How could that be? Oh, that's surprising. She looks so quiet. Why that kind of attitude? Even if a lady is not going to marry a man, that does not give all the God to terribly embarrass such a man. I thought I was dreaming. But lo, it was reality. How she almost burnt on me and almost tear me apart. If not for God yesterday, I almost affect myself. Yeah, friend, I really understand you. I seriously had God yesterday, before I went to her. Yes, there are many confirmations to that. You waited for about two years for you to be sure that it is the perfect will of God. You never jump protocols. You've seen the pastor, and all you need to see, I'm a witness, you've seen. Could that be that there's a problem somewhere? I wish I could back out of this. She seems so strong. She could even beat her husband. Friend, you can't back out. Not now. You've gotten to a point of no return. Because when the going gets tough, you need to keep the tough going until you win. Joseph never backed out of God in his trying period. Paul, neither Jesus. They should be away soon. Mommy, please eat now. Ma. Can't bring my phone. She's terribly sick. Sick? Okay, fine. Just calm down. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Nifemi, don't worry. Everything will be okay, okay? Just calm down. Why do we not solve anything? Calm down. Okay? Just calm down. Nifemi. Nifemi. Be calm. Everything will soon be well. Be calm. Hey, you wait! Me, I'm talking to you! Young man, wait! Young man, I'm talking to you! Wait. Who are you talking to? Did you see the young man that just passed by us? Young man. A young man passed by us, said something and mentioned my name. There is no young man, okay? What is wrong with you? Kate! 
Nifemi, there is no young man around there. It seems your mom sickness is getting to your head. Kate, why are you talking like Come this? Come on, shut up. There is no young man. Come on, let's go on. Go and, go and relax. I am not crazy. I saw a man that passed by us. He said something. Okay, there's a young man. Let's go. There's something. Okay, wrong with you. anyway, let, let's continue. so that you won't suffer. Ah, no!
I never knew this so much dimensions of God's love towards me. The height, the breadth, the width, and the depth. Who gave himself for me, loved me, and had me in his thoughts. My answer is... It's a yes. No! Much understanding came to me when Romy came. I'm sorry, ma. You might not know me, but I know you very well, ma. My name is Rotimi, popularly known as Romy. I was the one, the one that raped you on that fateful day. And it's not only you, ma. Though I go to church. God is indeed my helper. He is indeed my provider. But never for once believe in those reality that God can make man to stand over sin and temptation. Purity and holiness are unreal realities to me. Not until a few months ago that I met with Jesus Christ. And it changed my life. Ma, please, I'm sorry, ma. I want you to just forgive me, please. Those days are the days of old. Please, Ma. I'm sorry, Ma. Those days were the days of old. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please forgive me. If it were before, I could have killed you straightforward. But his unending love has opened my eyes. Mm. Though painful, but I have forgiven you from my heart. <laughs> oh God of love. So you could still save someone like this. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your Majesty.